Well, welcome to the Celebs.com studio at Sundance. Ethel Kennedy, Rory Kennedy, it's a pleasure having you both in. Ethel, tell me, what, what was it like on Friday having that experience up at Sundance, this whole room of people reacting and responding to your story on screen? Uh, I was so proud of Rory and how she got it all on film. And the audience was very generous. Um, I'm, I'm sure you've been proud of Rory for many of her films. What, what was it like seeing yourself up there that made this one different? Miserable. Miserable? <laughs> Are you not a fan of the lens being pointed at you? I don't like it. <laughs> so why agree to this? Why, why say, sure, let's do it? Why, why agree to, do, to doing this project with Rory? Because it was Rory who asked. Was there any reluctance on your part to turn the camera on your own family members? Yes, <laughs> there was. Um, in part because, as you as you can see a little bit here, my mother is you know reluctant to speak on camera, and it's not her favorite position or to talk about herself. Um, so I knew it would be challenging um, for her, but she was great to to agree to to do the interview and to be a part of it and. Um, and I'm so happy I was able to help tell her story, or at least part of it, and, and share this great, wonderful, amazing, extraordinary woman with, with so many people outside of her family and friends and a small circle of folks. Did it feel, did it have a sense of importance to it that, you sh that this is the right time to tell this story? Like, why not ten years ago, why not five years ago? Well, I think that, um, you know, my mother was, was game to do it now, and, and so that was a relevant part. Uh, the, the truth is, is that Sheila Nevins at HBO had approached me to do this film, and, um, and, and I was reluctant because it is so personal, and it is my family, and it's my mother, and um, in part for personal reasons, and in part because of the responsibility of that. But, uh, she was pretty insistent, and I, I approached my mother. She, my mother hasn't done an interview in about 30 years, so I, I was actually quite surprised when she said yes, but I think that she did it in large part because, uh, because she loves me, and that's so sweet. And, and I think it's also, it is, to me, a very important story to tell. And, you know, partially it was for selfish reasons for my own children and the grandchildren. My mother has 35 grandchildren, and, um, and, and uh, now great-grandchildren, and um, to share her with all of them. It was important, but also, you know, my mother has really been on the front lines of enormously important historical events in this country, and, and we really haven't had a chance to hear from her what it was like and from her perspective, so I felt that it did hopefully add something to the conversation. Had you heard the answers to those questions in private previously, no. or was this a revelation for you as well? Well, some of them I had. I mean, I, it was a five-day interview, and so I, I, there were a lot of questions asked, and, and it ran the gamut, so obviously there were questions I asked that I knew the answers to, but I, I wanted the audience to know the answers to. Um, and then there were other insights that, that I learned in doing the interview. Did you refuse to answer any of her questions? One or two. <laughs> <laughs> for, for her protection or for yours? Um, it was difficult for me to answer them. Yeah. Um, you, you know, as Rory said, you've been you've been around for so many major marquee moments, especially in the history of this country, the civil rights movement, um, the Vietnam War era. Do you feel like the country's changed a lot over the last, you know, 40 years? Or do you feel like it's, it's still stuck with a lot of the same issues that you saw it have, you know, 40 years ago? A lot of the same issues, but um, I think there's been a, a change in attitude. In the 60s, it's so nice to reflect back on. There was a real spirit of volunteerism. And uh, don't ask about what you're doing. Ask what you can do for the country. And I think over the years, that has uh, kind of faded a little. It doesn't have the sheen and the bright lights on it that it once had. Nothing kind of screams contemporary relevance, like having Taylor Swift show up at your premiere. Oh, well, she is amazing. <laughs> she is 
such good company. Did you, um, you, you knew her previously? To Sundance? Yes. yes. No, did you know, did you know Taylor Swift prior to Sundance? Yes. Oh, is that what you were answering? Yeah. Oh, that's Sorry. what I thought I was yes, saying. Absolutely. Okay. You see why I don't do interviews. <laughs> I think I'm saying one thing. I'm saying <laughs> test No, it was my misread. <laughs> Um, and how is that for you? It's like it's a strange mirroring of these, like the pop culture worlds, you know, and, and your family having been such a part of, obviously, the pop culture of this country, um, and and having that sort of that name recognition, and having this kind of pop starlet of today come. Was that is that a cool feeling for you, knowing that it is bridging that divide? You know, I didn't really think about it that way. She's she's um, I have two girls and they just love Taylor Swift and I've now been to a couple of her concerts and I just think she's terrific and such a great role model for young for young girls um, as well as for all women really I just think she's terrific and she really took the initiative to reach out to meet my mother because she had read about her and was a fan and admired her and um, they've spent some time together and and so I really just called her up and said, do you want to come to Sundance, you know, the week before last, two weeks ago? And she didn't really hesitate and, you know, was so excited to come. And she's just um, so curious and interested and, and been really wonderful. And, and it's really, I think there's a mutual admiration society between my mother and Taylor Swift. <laughs> and I just love it. And I think it says so much about Taylor that... Um, that you know she has she has that ability to connect to cross generations and to 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 somebody like my mother it's great and what's it like now the film's done you get to see it with an audience obviously but to then just spend this time with her like going around you know promoting the film obviously it's going to through HBO it's going to be something that you'll be talking about for some time is it kind of a blessing that you've gotten to have this extra time with your mum it's great yeah. I'm so I feel so grateful to um, have you know I think it's it's there are not that many of us who are able to sit down for five days and ask our parents everything that we've ever wanted to, to ask them and my siblings as well and so you know, so sometimes that was hard and difficult and challenging, but uh, enormously rewarding. And it's been fun being here with my mother at Sundance and having her be the subject of the documentary and trying her darndest to focus on me instead of on her every step of the way. And she's so sweet. And it's been fun. Well, it's we appreciate you taking a little bit of time to speak to us today. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank and you. Uh, and I can't wait to see what's next from you, Cor from you Rory. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you. much. Thank you so, so much. much for having us. Thank that was you. great.